Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to Friday's Maths lesson. Here are the answers to the questions that I left you with yesterday, the two-step word problems. Hopefully, you were able to work out in each one the information that you needed to work out first before you could an answer the actual question. So, for example, in this question, Mr Jones, the shopkeeper, has some potatoes for sale. He sells six bags of potatoes that each have a mass of 11 kilograms. He has two kilograms of potatoes left. Find the total mass of potatoes that Mr Jones had at first. So first of all, we need to use the information about what he has sold. Six bags of potatoes that each have a mass of 11 kilograms. So here is the bar model that we would draw for this. Six equal bags each with 11 kilograms, but we don't know the whole amount. To work that out, we have got six groups with 11 kilograms in each. Therefore, our calculation is six times 11, which is 66. So we know that the six bags had 66 kilograms, but that doesn't tell us the total mass of Mr. P uh, potato, sorry, of potatoes that Mr. Jones had at first, not Mr. Potato Head. Um, it doesn't tell us the total mass that he had at first. It tells us that he sold 66 kilograms, but we also have the information that he had two kilograms of potatoes left. Therefore, we've got two parts, 66 that he sold, the two kilograms that he had left. So to find the amount that he had to begin with, we need to add those together and 66 plus two equals 68. So we know Mr. Jones had 68 kilograms of potatoes at first. So hopefully you were able to work your way through these questions and um, do it step by step. Let's have a look at this one. Ella and Omar take part in a race. They each run up and down the same hill. The distance from the foot of the hill to the top is 996 metres. Omar stops to rest after running 578 metres. How much further does Omar need to run? So first of all, we need to work out how far the race is. It's up and down the hill. So running up is the same distance as running down. We know that from the bottom to the top, it's 996 metres. So back down again will also be 996 metres. So the total distance of the race is 996 metres plus 996 metres, or two times 996. Therefore, the total distance of the race is 1,992 metres. But Omar has stopped after running 578 metres. So in order to work out how much further he has to go, we need to subtract that from 1,992 and the answer is 1,114. Omar needs to run another 1,114 metres to complete the race. If you want to pause the video and just double check all your answers in purple polish and as I always say, any problems, put it on the blog please. And here are the answers to question five. The maths journal, um, all the answers that you, uh, the questions and answers that you would have come up with would be different. Um, so I haven't got an answer for that. They would vary there. On to today's lesson, which is upside down. <laughs> so today is a catch up and revision session. Um, if you haven't had the chance to finish all of the work that you've been set over the course of the week or you weren't sure about anything, it might be worth going back through the videos and um, just going over some of the questions again and trying them now that you've had the sort of chance to practice over the course of the week. Um, if you want to have a look on the challenging activities PowerPoint on the website for some more challenging questions, um, that's available. If you're happy with everything that we've covered, then we've got some revision questions um, from the practice book here. And I would like you to have a go at them and to upload them onto Purple Mash. This will just give us an idea of how you've got on this week. Um, so we can see whether bar models has been a challenge to you, whether we need to give you anything, any um, sort of little tasks to carry out or just to double check that um, you've understood everything. Do remember to draw bar models to help you answer word problems. So you have four word problems on this sheet to carry out. 
you might want to use some additional paper and things to draw your bar models and do your workings um please um try and do them on the, sh the same sheet but if you need to use additional paper you can put that up these sheets are all i want to see on purple mash please um for today but it would be really good if you could put these on for today because i'm not going to put the answers on just so that we can have a look at them and double check your understanding and you've got another four questions on this sheet and one more here so you've got nine questions to complete as i say i'm not going to go through the answers today because i would really like to see these up on purple mash just so that myself and your teachers can have a look and just double check that everybody has managed to grasp what we've been doing this week with word problems well done you have worked really hard this week these word problems are tricky especially some of these two-step word problems so well done to you and we will be starting a new unit of work on monday have a smashing weekend and we'll see you soon